guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can probably tell from the title, I'm using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm custom mixing the two and I'm doing a first impression on this foundation. Just in case you're new, hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome to my channel and please subscribe if you like my videos and also give them a thumbs up and welcome to the family. Um, anyways, I just want to mention at the beginning, before I forget that um, my type of skin, I have like normal combination skin, so it's normal almost all around the face and then around my nostrils I get like a bit oily and um, sometimes on my forehead and my chin, but most of the time it is like normal and a little bit oily here. But currently, today, I don't know why my skin's like been a little dry recently, so it's like normal and a little bit dry around areas. So today I'm doing like a first impressions on like my dry type of skin currently. It's a bit weird, but yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And what, I'm, what you're going to be seeing in this video here is obviously my first impressions, but I'm going to show you what the foundation looked like throughout the day, how long it lasts, what um, products look best on top of it, like as I blend them out, and also I'm priming half and half of my face to see which one lasts better and which one looks better and blends better, and yeah, you know, you get the drill. I'm also using like a brush and a sponge to see which one works best. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing in this video, and then if you want to see my first impressions on this foundation and how it worked for my skin, then please continue watching. I love you guys so much, and to all the new people that are like watching this video, if you're new, um, thank you so much for coming over here, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Before I get started, I'm going to read you a little bit more about this foundation, which as you know, is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, and I have it in the shade 01 Pale, and I really got this like pale pale one because I wanted to see if it was light enough for me to wear during the winter time, because during the winter time, I'm really, really fair, and I can never find, find foundations that actually match me. So it might not fit me now perfectly because I am a little bit tan from the summer, like not really, not that much, but I am tanner than what I am looking like in winter which is like really pale, so um, yeah, that's why I got this one. Now, as I said, it's in the shade 01 Pale, and it says it has 13 milliliters, which is a little bit less. Well, no, it's like less than half of what you get normally with like other foundations. Other foundations, you get 30 milliliters, so you do get less, um, but it is in a glass packaging. See? Mm-hmm. It's in a glass packaging and it looks really nice. It has a dropper and this is a drugstore. So I find like this is like a really nice packaging for drugstore. And it says also on the box, it says with a few drops, our total control drop foundation delivers sheer to full coverage and a velvety matte finish. Simply adjust the number of drops you use until the desired level of coverage is achieved. More drops equals more coverage. And then I'm going to read you a little bit off the website. Um, on the website, the NYX.com website, it says it has 24 shades, it's 14 US dollars, and I don't really remember how much it was here in Mexico, but it was it was quite affordable. It's kind of like on the L'Oreal range of foundation, like that price. So I will use this, and I will also try to use it with a sponge. This is the Echo Tool sponge, so we'll see which one's better to buff this out. And also, as it said, it's a matte finish. I normally go for dewy foundations because I'm getting like drier skin all of a sudden, but yeah. Also, it's a bit dehydrated right now because I haven't drunk a lot of water recently, so yeah. I know that's bad, but this is what we're handling today. And I do have a spot on my nose to see um, how the coverage is basically. So today's kind of like the perfect time to see how this foundation works. Yeah, let's just get into it. Um, This is the foundation right here. As you can see, it's like in this glass packaging. It has 13 milliliters and it comes with this dropper here. I'm trying not to drop it. And it also says to shake well on the box and that it lasts for 24 months after you open it. Let's give it a good old shake. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you see my skin a lot better and that you, yeah, so you see my skin a lot better. I brought the exposure a little bit lower so you can see my skin a lot better and my under eye circles. I will also show you how the concealer goes on and the powder because the powder part is the the part where the foundation starts looking icky. So yeah. I'm going to prime my skin with the Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm and I'm just going to prime it on this side of my face, not this side, so I think I grabbed way too much but now I'm going to grab the NYX Angel Veil Primer and I'm just going to apply it right here on my large pores and on my smile lines because that's where I tend to crease and the foundation tends to separate a bit. 
So I'm just going to apply a tiny bit, and this is what I normally do with my foundation, so. Yeah, right here, here. And maybe just a tiny bit on my forehead and my chin where I have like a blemish. So I've primed my skin now and I'm going to start using this. Now I don't want to apply it directly onto the brush because the foundation is just going to sink inside the bristles. I'm not going to do anything so I'm just going to apply it directly to my face I think. Or maybe my hand? I don't know, we'll try first. So I'm going to put one... Ooh, okay, it's really, really runny. And it feels like cold. <laughs> it doesn't really have a scent to it. So I'm just going to apply... So now that I look like a crazy person and I need to blend it out, I'm going to blend it out with the Manifair Cosmetics Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki. It's the YX1226 in case you wanted to know. And yeah, I'm just going to start blending it. Okay, it's really, really fair, so that's good for my winter time. I think with that amount of drops, Look, I'm going to look super pale. Like, it kind of matches my neck right here, but it doesn't currently match my face situation. So, I'm glad I'm wearing, like, this top that covers my tanned shoulders, so it will look a little bit better. Okay, it definitely is a matte finish. It doesn't feel drying. Yeah, it doesn't really feel drying. But with just a few drops on the cheek, I would say it got to a medium coverage. Medium to full, definitely. I think if you used a little bit less than what I used, it'd be a lot sheerer if you are into that type of thing. Which I sometimes I'm also into like a sheer coverage. Okay, so it buffed quite nicely and it doesn't look too dry. Although it kind of enhanced the texture I have right here. I didn't put any primer there, but my pores don't look big right here. And yes, I think I'm missing a little bit on my chin and my lip, but we'll fix this just in a second. And my brush actually didn't suck up a lot of foundation. Sometimes it does. And it's like quite clean as you can see here. So, yeah. I'm going to try it with a sponge now. This is my Echo Tools one. I'm going to try blending it out with this. Ooh, okay. I think it blends out just as nice, maybe. But the sponge takes away a little bit of the coverage. But I think it blends just as nicely. Yeah, this, the sponge does suck up um, quite a bit of foundation, not a lot, you can't really see it here. I look so pale. <laughs> okay, maybe I chose the wrong time to do the first impressions on this, but I really wanted to try this out and see if it actually worked for me or my skin. And now my foundation is all over my eyebrow, that was a bad idea. Blending it out. See, as you can see here, like my neck is like quite pale, and this is how pale I am during the winter time, so I thought maybe this foundation will look actually quite nice. I think on this side, the side that I use the brush in, like my cheeks look a little bit like, I don't know, drier or matter. And with the sponge, it looks a little bit dewier. So you could do it up a little with the, um, the sponge, I think. But so far, it's looking really good. And where I didn't apply the smoothing primer, you can definitely see like my larger pores. So that'd be something to watch out for if you have like a large pore problem. Yeah, that blends really nicely as well with the sponge, but I think I like it a little bit a little. I think I like it a little bit better with the sponge because it looks a little bit dewier instead of that matte. Okay, now that I look ghostly, I actually remembered I picked up a second foundation because I had to use it on like a client that I put makeup on. And I know this is definitely not my shade, but I think maybe I could warm up this foundation a little bit to match me a little bit better because it matches my neck currently, but like my shoulders, as you can see here, it will not match. Like, look. <laughs> I look like the foundation flashback photos. So I'm going to mix it on the back of my hand. And this one is actually in the shade... 15 caramel. So I've got my shade, I think. Current shade, and I'm just going to apply it with my finger. Oh, it's actually dry now, the foundation. I completely forgot I had this other shade, and I think it really helps to warm up your foundations a little bit, so. 
Yay, thank you, foundation for the rescue. Now I'm going to buff it out with my brush again to see what happens. Okay, that definitely warmed up my skin a little bit more. I still look fair, but it warmed up my skin a little tiny bit more, which is what I wanted because I look like really ghost-like right now. And then I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but like with my current skin tone, it doesn't really match. So, okay, so with the brush, it's not like doing much easy blending. So I'm going to go back with my sponge. I feel like I still look super, super pale, so I'm going to try to build it up one more time. Warming up my skin tone a little bit because it looks a little bit crazy still. Alright, blend, 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 blend. I still think this foundation, I look like really pale to you guys, but I swear it looks a lot more normal now. But I swear this foundation for some reason it's not like super super full coverage um i can still see like my freckles and it's not like super full coverage but i do feel it's like medium to full coverage and i'll play with it a little bit more and see if i can get it to full coverage or mix it with other foundation and see how i like it so remember to stay tuned for that in my other videos and there we go i'm completely matte and the prime side where I put the primer actually looks quite smooth and the other side looks a little bit like it's starting to crease around my smile lines right here and my pores do look large and it didn't fully cover my spot right here but I'm so glad I got the second one because that means I could kind of use this foundation all year long because I'm never this tan. So one more time, I mixed the shade 01 Pale, which is the lightest shade and the shade 15 Caramel and um, they look like this right here. So yeah, this one's like ghostly white and this one's like really warm tone. And it's kind of like a neutral warm tone, I would say. But yeah, I, I, I'm liking it so far. I like it a little bit better on the prime side though. Now for concealer, I'm going to use my usual Tarte Americuja Pieces Concealer and I'm going to mix it with the NYX Gacha Covered Concealer. And we'll see how this blends on top of the foundation because sometimes the concealers, especially full coverage concealers, don't blend that well on top of foundations. So I'm going to see how it blends out with like a really like heavy duty concealer, especially under my eyes where it's like getting dry all of a sudden here. Um, this spot concealing. Okay, it feels a little bit like, I don't know, it's pulling on my skin a little bit when I do this and maybe because the concealer is dewy and the foundation's matte maybe it's doing that. Okay, it's blending out quite nicely. I'm not having a lot of trouble blending this one out. On this side, I think it doesn't look as, the concealer doesn't look as nice and it's probably because of the primer that I put on this side but we'll see. Right, and now I'm going to mix a little bit of the other one. I forgot to mention that the Tarte Maracuja Pieces Concealer is in the shade Fairly Light Neutral and the NYX one is in the shade OO Alabaster. I'm going to put a little bit here, 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 on my nose, on my forehead. And now time to blend. There we go. Just going to hold the mirror up a little bit to see my skin better. And I always go in with the damp sponge afterward to make sure that everything is blended. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more so you actually see like my skin and like my under eyes and see how it looks before I apply powder so you can see the difference. Okay, now we're really up close and personal, never mind the nose. I just like touched it with a tissue because I'm like super itchy. Around my nose, I think I have like a little hair that's bothering me around there, but I can't find it, so... <laughs> okay. Now that we're really up close and personal, you can see that it actually matches my neck now, and you can see like the true tone of my skin, and it doesn't look like super full coverage. I don't think I, apply, I applied that much foundation, to be honest, and it's a lot thinner than other foundations, so maybe that's why it looks like this. I'll play with it with other foundations, but... This is how my skin's currently looking. This is the prime side and this is the non-prime side. I do think it looks a lot better with the prime side rather than with this side. It's like a little bit creasy here. I still haven't set my concealer or anything. 
but it tends to like crease here right around the crook of my nose my smile lines and my under eye currently looks like this it looks still doing because I haven't powdered it but um, I do want to say that uh, this part of my foundation always rubs off and kind of like on my chin right here so I'm going to set my face and my concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder is this one right here and I'm going to set it really really lightly because I do not want to make it like super super matte okay, so the first thing that I can tell when I set my concealer is that it does not look super drying because whenever I set my concealer it does look a little bit dry so I have to go in with a lot of face mist to like tone it down because that's how my under eyes I have really dry under eyes and I struggle to find like nice concealer and powders especially the combination so it's looking really nice now I'm going to set like my large pore area and my nose to see how it looks like oh my god you know what? I'm really impressed by this because normally even though I put the smoothing powder around like my large pore area, you can still see them a bit and after I set the powder with this foundation, you can't really see them like at all. That's so nice. I mean, you can still see my natural skin under which is quite nice. It's a quite natural matte finish if that makes any sense at all. And I'm just grabbing a tiny bit of powder as you can see. I'm not grabbing too much and I'm just setting like the areas. Okay, now for my cheeks right here where I have large pores. Ooh, okay, so the combination of this foundation concealer and powder makes my um, pores look smaller. For now, we still have to see how they look with highlight and blush on, so I really like that. I'm liking this foundation so far, you guys. Okay, so the non-prime side, I can tell that it's like a little bit creasy and it looks a little bit drier than, rather than with the other one for some reason. I don't think this foundation really needs setting because it did not feel sticky when I touched it with my fingers. But I'm going to set it anyway, just like any other foundation, so we see how it looks. Now I'm going to set my face, um, well, the first set. I'm going to set my face with the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Spray. It's also by NYX, so... I want to see if it looks dewy or if it still looks matte after using a dewy finishing spray because I really like dewy skin at the moment. My skin's been, been quite dry recently, so I've been loving that. I also want to see the longevity because this setting spray actually does quite last not a really long time like my Urban Decay All Nighter spray, but it lasts quite some time. I'm just going to tap the excess off a little bit more. And what I can tell from this matte foundation, it made my forehead quite dewy, as you can see it looks like a bit shiny, but my cheeks look like kind of a satin finish, which I like. It's like quite natural, so yes. I think this would be nice for normal and oily skin. I'm still seeing whether I like it or not for like drier skin because I have like quite dry skin at the moment. I'm also going to do a flash test just in case um, it flashes back or anything. This foundation does not claim to have any um, SPF or any ingredients that might cause flashback or anything, but I do want to test it and see if it looks um, normal or if it flashes back or anything like that. So I'm going to do one flashback test now. Okay, now that I've just taken some flash photos with my iPhone because I do think that's like the harshest um, flash you can get like during nighttime if you're going out for dinner or anything and that's like your main worry not like really flash photography cameras but uh, for the main for the regular user I don't think it flashes back at all like I don't seem to have any flashback and my foundation on flash photography actually looks quite nice my skin looks really naturally flawless if I if I may say so on like the on the flash photo that I just took. Last but not least, I'm going to be testing out the highlighter because I do find like when I put highlighter on foundation, sometimes it rubs off the foundation under or it enhances my pores and texture around my skin. So I'm going to test it as well. And this is also a NYX product. This is the Strobe with Genius Illuminating Palette. And I'm going to use the lavender shade today. It's the first time I use this. And I just really want to see how it looks on my skin. Then I'm going to go in with bronzer and blush as well, but I just really wanted to use this highlight. Ooh, oh my god, it's like really intense. 
It actually looks quite nice. It's not enhancing the texture at all on the prime side. Now I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay, on the non-prime side, it does look a little bit, I don't know, like powdery, I want to say. And it does enhance my larger pores right here. I'll zoom you in in a bit so you see. I just used this purple shade right here, and I'm going to mix it with the light lightest shade here to make it look a little bit more natural because it does look quite purple, and it's going to like be really harsh against the bronzer and things. So just buffing it out a little bit with the other highlight. I do think it looks a little bit better on the prime side though. I'm going to grab a mixture of both and just apply it on my nose. On my chin. But I'll just zoom you in a little bit so you could see. So now that we're really, 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 really close, you can see like my under eyes, um, it's because of the concealer. Like I didn't apply too much and I have really dark under eye circles, but never mind that. See my highlight, you can kind of see the pores here. And on this side, it looks a little bit better, a lot more seamless, as you can see here. And my forehead looks actually quite dewy. My under eyes look fine. And um, also, like, the rest of my face look kind of like a satin finish, which I like. And it does not feel tacky after the setting spray, like, at all. But yeah, this is how the highlight looks. Now I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup, like, my face makeup and my eyes. And I'll be right back to tell you at the time I finished the, my actual makeup. It is currently... 11.17, so let's just say 11.20, 11.30 a.m. And I'll try to wear this foundation for like around eight hours, which is what I normally use the foundation for, if not less, um, because I really don't like using it for a long, long time. I'll try to make it 12, but I can't promise anything. I'll see how that goes. I'll be right back after I finish my makeup. Hi guys, so I've just finished applying my makeup and everything, and it's been a little bit right after applying my makeup, and it's currently 12.30, so like an hour later, a little bit. And um, I just wanted to update you on how the products went on my skin and everything, and I think they look really nice on my skin, like the bronzer and the blush look really nice, and the setting spray actually made my skin look quite dewy, not super dewy like my other foundations, because this is a matte one. But um, this one did make me look a bit dewy. I'm still a bit matte, but here on my forehead and my cheekbones, I do look quite dewy, which is what I like. So I just wanted to tell you that quickly, and that the side that isn't primed, which is this one right here, it's like creasing a little bit, a tiny, tiny bit, um, because of my smile lines and my, my nose crook thing. <laughs> But on this side, it looks absolutely fine. It, nothing has happened. It hasn't faded or anything. And it hasn't looked cakey or anything. I'm really liking this foundation so far. And it makes my skin look so nice and like naturally flawless, if I may. Like, I don't know. It's like this weird thing. You should try it for yourself and just apply like quite a few drops and get like a medium coverage. And it looks like quite nice and flawless, but it doesn't feel or look like a heavy duty foundation. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's really, it's looking really nice on my skin and I really, really like it. Also, if you want to see this makeup that I did, I did do a tutorial on this look. And if it's up already, I'll link it down below. And if it's not, then uh, stay tuned for the video. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say quickly. And I'll see you in a few hours and see how this is going. Hello again, so I'm here, yes, again. I'm back here for another update for you guys. Um, it's been eight hours officially and my skin looks really nice still. Um, I'm just going to say quickly, I was going to come back at the four hour mark, but I looked at my skin, it looked like the exact same as when I first applied the foundation. So I didn't think it would really look like four hours had passed. So I didn't want to update on that. Maybe I should have, I don't know. But um, now officially eight hours have passed and my foundation is looking pretty darn good. What I can tell from my skin is that like from here you can probably see and it still looks a bit flawless. But to me, uh, like right up close, I have my hair here. Right up close, the prime side looks absolutely amazing. And the non-prime side, it still looks really good, but I did crease here. The foundation's coming off like around my nose, the crook of my nose. And I leaned on my hand on this side, and when I took my hand off, like I had a lot of foundation stuck to my hand. And that is because of the primer, I believe, because I did the same with this hand and nothing happened to it. So I do really recommend that you actually prime with this foundation because, I don't know, the foundation seems to go on a lot nicer and not do this like i'll show you in a minute but like of the foundation completely came off here and i tried blending it out a little bit but it's not really budging because i have a highlight there 
you can still kind of see the foundation I mean it's come off a little tiny bit and my nose has not gotten oily by now my nose would have been like quite oily and I would have had to blot that and like powder a little tiny bit and maybe a little tiny bit on my forehead but I touched my forehead and it's completely fine it's like matte and my the rest of my skin does not feel like disgusting it feels like I have nothing really on I mean I don't know I'll zoom you in a little bit more so you can actually see my skin here we are so the exposure is a little lower and then here you can see where the foundation rubbed off like I leaned on my head like this and it came off along with the highlight and on this side it looks absolutely fine and really really nice and on this side it's just like came off completely and then on this side you can kind of see like my smile lines I'm just looking at the viewfinder to see like I'm in focus and then on this side you can see like my smile line is a little creasy not too much it's the least creasy that I've seen my smile line with like all the foundations I've ever tried if that makes any sense if was it even English? I don't know. And my pores still look really, really nice on this side. On this side, you can see them a lot more. And it's starting to crease a little more like on my nostril right here. And it rubbed off here where I blew my nose a little. So yeah, I mean, it's looking really, really nice. I would definitely prime though because it is looking a lot better on this prime side rather than on this one. It still looks good. But, I mean, it looks really good for eight hours. I mean... I'm going to try and wear this foundation up to the 12 hour mark to see if it's like truly long lasting and everything never minding this part but it's probably going to look its best with the prime side and since it is well for flash photography I think this would be kind of good for events if it lasts for 12 hours and it still looks nice and not that cakey I mean it's not looking cakey now so yeah I'll try to come back in four more hours so it hits the 12 hour mark and see how it's doing it's going i think it's looking pretty good and it could be one of those like really long lasting foundations for events flash photography and everything hi guys i am back for my very last update and i've had the foundation on for 11 hours i didn't manage to keep it on for 12 hours because i'm just extremely tired and i just want to take my makeup off and the eyelashes and everything i, I just want to have a fresh face put on a mask and maybe read a little bit. I'm quite tired today and I don't think that there's going to be a huge difference in one hour so I'm just going to do my very last update right now and from what I can actually see myself right here before I zoom you into my face um, I know the lighting is a bit harsh but it's like night time now it is 10 37 p.m. and I'm really really tired and there's no light so that's why the lighting is a little bit harsh but yeah I'm trying my best here um, anyways from what I can tell I still have that rubbed off spot here and the foundation now actually looks a bit cakey so it lasted really well for those eight hours but these last four hours I think that it didn't last as well maybe just the past two hours is when it started looking like really ugh, you might need a touch up but I haven't touched it up I don't want to touch it up to see how it actually looks and um, Obviously the prime side still the highlight is still like beaming and the contour my blush has Rubbed off a tiny bit, but since I apply a little bit, I don't really mind But on this side the bronzer and the contour is like completely rubbed off I only have like a little bit of contour right here My pores do look a little bit cakier and larger my concealer is rubbed off as well here on this side on the non prime side and my nose now like until now it actually got oily so now would be the time like when I grab my tissue or my blotting paper and just dab the oil away as you can see here maybe a little bit I'm not sure I mean it looks really really nice on this side like right here but like on the center of my face around my nose and my lip area like right here it still looks a lot better than this side this side does look actually a little bit oily as well on this side but the side where I actually put the smoothing primer it looks quite nice okay so now that you're really close to me you can actually see like this is the spot where the foundation rubbed off you can see a lot better you can barely see like my bronzer right here a little bit of contour and a little tiny bit of highlight compared to the other side and on my smile line right here it's creased a little bit more not a lot compared to, to my other foundation my other foundations by now it would like separate completely by now and the side of my nose right here it does look a little bit more creasy and cakey and like for some reason like this part I don't have any more foundation or concealer there I don't know if I rubbed it or something happened I don't really remember 
And as you can see like at the bottom of my face, my foundation is rubbed off But every single foundation does that, it's because I touch my face and I lean on my face a lot And as you can see, I have like a little breakout right here that's popping up today Great, yes, I love it And um, you can see that my scars from my breakouts, it clung a little bit to that part when it removed Because I barely have any product anymore on my chin and it clung on to those dry patches and yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything else I can update you on. It just came off here a little tiny bit, so. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the very last update now. Now for my final thoughts, I actually really, really like this foundation. I think it stayed put amazing. I think this is the foundation that has been the longest on my skin, looking really nice and not removing any of my like contour blush highlight area on the prime side. And that keeps my pores looking small along with the powder and the concealer. I think my foundation looks really great within those eight hours. After that, it starts like going like me, but um, not so much. Like this is what my foundation would actually look like around the eight hour mark. So for this, I think it's a really, really nice foundation. I will definitely play with it a lot more and mix it, custom mix it with other foundations, see how it works on its own, use different powders, and I'll update you on how I like it and if I'm still using it and if it actually really worked for my skin and it still works for my skin. So today, it looked really, really nice. I really like this foundation. I do really love it. And it's a drugstore foundation, which is surprising because I have two favorite high-end foundations, but I have never found like a truly favorite favorite drugstore foundation aside from the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation, which you can't get Rimmel in Mexico anymore. I don't know why. I can't find it anywhere. It stopped like coming to Mexico, I think. But um, that was my favorite foundation and I've just run out of it. And I didn't have any drugstore foundation. That was my favorite when And I think this one's taken its place. I, it looks really, really nice. This is the like a matte drugstore foundation that I really like and I think the Rimmel one is a more dewy coverage which is also drugstore and I really really love so I think we're going to expect some great things from this foundation in the future and I do really think it's nice for flash photography events it's definitely long wearing especially like I don't know my skin type is like really combination so you can truly see like what happens with the skin like I have dry patches. It's dehydrated dry under eyes I have large pores. I have like a bit of everything, you know, it's not like the very best skin But <laughs> it, do it does still look nice and it's my skin and I love it. So yeah um, I'm going to stop rambling now. and yeah, that's what I basically wanted to say. I really like this foundation I think it's great for flash photography and events. It's really long-lasting. It does not look cakey It feels really lightweight and not like heavy-duty full coverage like foundations Kind of like the stick foundations or cream foundations are like really thick so if you like a lightweight formula that's still medium to full coverage i think you really like this one if you like matte um finishes it's definitely matte but it does not feel like really drying and like i don't know like on your skin i don't know if that made any sense i did use dewy setting spray so it made like a satin dewy finish which i really like and yeah i think that's it but yeah for now this is going to be it for this video if you do like my first impressions and this foundation give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and tell me your thoughts of like this foundation if you liked it for your skin if it worked for you if you have like a different skin type or maybe it didn't work for you and you have the same skin type i don't know i'd love to know and yeah tell me in the comments down below and also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to subscribe to my second channel it's at the end of the screen and also link down below it's my vlogging channel so if you want to stay tuned and want to know what i'm up to in my daily shenanigans well i'm not daily vlogging yet i don't know if i will but um yeah i'm vlogging now and yeah yeah okay yeah i need to go i'm really tired and i'm just rambling i love you guys so much and i send you a massive hug thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye oh, this new crazy mother